Hi, I'm you guys, and welcome to another video on my YouTube. I am so excited for this video, you guys, because not only am I recording my first ever podcast, Hot Latina Girl Habits, but I'm also going to be recording the video for you guys so it can just kind of feel more one-on-one -on -one and actually feel a little bit more personal. Um, so before we begin, you guys, this is how I tell you, el que quiere puede, because I'm literally right now trying to download an app to like record my actual video. So this is real raw and this is who we are, okay? This is just who we are. So I'm so freaking excited to be filming this video for one and filming this podcast. Um, I don't want to say too much because I want to get started on the podcast before we do anything. But really quick, I want to give a quick shout out to my girl, Shout222. This is where the super cute little ring is from and the earrings. This girl is always hooking me up and I freaking love her. She supports everything that I do. So I just felt the need that I needed to give her a little bit of a shout out. But okay, so let me get set up to start this podcast and then we'll go ahead and get started and don't think that i don't have my cafecito with me because boss bitches always carry coffee with them literally prove me wrong but a boss bitch will always have a cup of coffee with them okay but let me go ahead and get started oh my god you guys it literally took me a little while i thought it was going to be a lot easier than this but we have our microphones if you guys see me holding this it's because i'm going to be recording the podcast at the exact same time i'm so so freaking nervous i have a video too that i just i'm gonna upload on tiktok right after we're done with this so i'm so excited you guys thank you guys so much for your support and let's go ahead and get started because you guys are going to be getting not really the first preview but this is the first youtube video for hot latina girl habits so let's go ahead and get started hi amigas and welcome to a first ever hot latina girl habits video podcast whatever if you guys are listening to this right now i am actually recording for youtube as well so you guys are gonna able <laughs> let me start this over you guys i'm gonna get so nervous hi amigas and welcome to the very first episode of hot latina girl habits the podcast right now that you guys are listening to this i'm actually also recording for youtube so thank you to my youtube fam plus my podcast fam here that we're gonna start growing now in the future um i'm so excited to have all of you guys here thank you guys so much for your support um and you can also find this video on youtube at cafecito con daisy you can also find me on instagram at cafecito con daisy g so i'm so excited we're gonna go ahead and get started on this very first episode um so first of all i have to give a shout out because i gave a shout out for youtube already but miss girl shop 222 she has been hooking me up with all of this super cute jewelry i did show them on youtube already but i wanted to give her a shout out here on the podcast because miss girl is always supporting me so i love helping out small businesses in any way that i can because you know that's what i want my platform to be girl my platform is going to be women empowering women but anyways let's go ahead and get started with today's episode okay so for episode oh hold on actually let's take a sip of our coffee first you guys because we need some i have some hot i wait to my metion pillow la boca oh my god okay there Anyways, so for today's coffee, we have my man's this morning. I don't know que le pico or what, but he made me a super yummy coffee. So I just put two raw sugars and oat milk. Literally so good. My favorite go-to, especially in the fall. Okay, so you guys, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of context about me and who I am and what I'm planning to do with this platform. Um, but first and foremost, I want to just say like, thank you guys. Thank you guys for all the support and all the love that you guys give my videos on TikTok um, for the Hot Latina Girl habits. Um, honestly, girl we're gonna get into it we're gonna get into exactly why i created cafecito con daisy and why i felt the need to create the hot latina girl habits um videos on there in the first place but i did want to mention that i you know i wanted to create this podcast now because we're getting into a season where i feel like things just start getting like low-key depressing because empieza el tiempo like it's starting to get really cold it gets darker early we you know we're staying home most of the time so i feel like that's when we start getting in those moods or those like depressive episodes especially if you're someone who struggles with mental health like girl i know for sure this is why i'm so big on like mindset and you know making sure to build such a strong mindset because 
girl if you don't you can get into these super super ugly I, I call them episodes i don't know why i like to call them episodes because i for sure go through like waves where i'm like super good on a really high high and then when i do go through those episodes where i'm like at a very low low girl they're horrible one thing that has really helped me is for sure getting my mindset together and just being intentional with building a super super strong mindset so that's why i figured there was no better time on creating this podcast than to do it because we're getting into that season and miss girl we are gonna change that initiative about the winter blues or whatever que sabe que tanto because we're not gonna let that happen this year we are not gonna let that happen this year because we have let that happen before year after year and this year is not gonna be that year amiga okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started i want to kind of introduce myself and who i am and again what i'm planning to do with this platform so a little bit you guys about how cafecito con daisy started it's actually a very crazy story and it makes me emotional because okay I have been someone, like I said before, I've struggled with depression, I've struggled with mental health and stuff like that, and, you know, I have never had this much confidence in myself and, like, my potential until now, and until I started being super fucking intentional. Also, you guys, I do cuss, You could, okay? I like to say a few little cuss words here and there, so if you don't like it, mija, vaya a chingar a su madre. Just kidding, but not really. <laughs> um... But anyway, so yeah, so I've always been like, you know, I've always struggled with mental health and stuff like that. And I haven't always been this confident in myself and my potential until I started being intentional about being this confident. Like I started actually fucking working on myself. And I feel like people think that you wake up one day and you're like confident and you're, you know, your mindset's 100%. Like you're ready to fucking take on the world. Like, no, this shit takes work. It takes work for you to be where, you're, where you want to be at, right? Like it's going to take work for you to get there. So anyways, there was one day that I was... One thing about me though, I have always... I have never stopped working out. Even if I get into those episodes, like... Even if I have to drag myself there, it's just a habit of me going to the gym. Whether I'm sad, excited, happy. However I wake up every single day, my goal is to go to the gym. And, you know, sometimes... I, obviously, I take like my days off. But it's always been like a goal of mine. And there was one day, you guys, I was in such a freaking... It was probably like... A few weeks already, que ya llevaba que me sentía super like depressed, and I was just like, man, like I don't know where the fuck my life is headed, and I feel like this is very common with women or girls, you know, who are very like ambitious, and you know that like you're meant for a different life and a different lifestyle. You start to get into these moments where you get so caught up on who you want to be, who you want to become, what you want that perfect life of yours to look like that you forget that like you still have to live in this present moment and it's this present girl that's going to get you to where you want to be so i was definitely in one of those episodes where i'm just like comparing myself to other people and then looking at other people's lives and being like man like i know i have the potential like I, what am i doing wrong right and then kind of like that whole victim mentality like what is it that i'm doing differently like why are these girls achieving this and like i'm doing the same thing but like not achieving anything you know and it's very, very, very victim mentality, Miss Girl. And telling you guys, whew, let me take a break. <laughs> but if you have that victim mentality already, keep listening, keep listening to this podcast, you guys, because I'm gonna make it a mission of mine to build your confidence and just help you become that fucking bad bitch that I know that you can become. Okay. So, anyways, I was on my way to the gym. Actually, no, I was already leaving the gym and again, I was like already in a very bad like mood and I just felt like super depressed and I was like, I just want to go home. So I'm going home and I don't know why, I think it's like from working out, like all those emotions just came out and I just started crying. Like I got in my car and I started crying and then I had actually just lost my job. Um, I was a cocktail server in Vegas and this is actually something I have never talked about like publicly or like said it out loud. Um, but I had lost my job. I was making really, really good money. And then, girl, it's a long story. Maybe one day I'll share exactly why I lost the job and, like, what happened. And it was honestly all my decision and my choice because I didn't want to devalue who I was and what I believed in. So I decided to leave. And it definitely hit me. I was freaking crying. And, you know, at the same time, I felt bad because I'm like, bitch, you're over here having a whole ass meltdown driving a damn Mercedes. Like, girl like get up you know and it's always like it doesn't matter like how much you have or how much money you have and the things that you have if your mindset is not like at a hundred percent 
it doesn't like money is just gonna make things worse right so anyways i'm sitting in my car and i'm just like crying and i'm like okay like what the fuck do i want to do with my life i know i don't want to be a cocktail server forever and one of my dreams since i was like literally in high school was to i wanted a youtube channel i wanted to do the whole content creator thing and before i wasn't even called content creator it was like more like a youtuber and that's what i wanted to do with my life and and nobody really understands that i feel like or especially like you know i remember my family or i had like one of my madrinas was like that's not a real job like you cannot do that like whatever and i remember that day when she told me that and i'm just like but other people are doing it so if other people are making it a job then that means that i can do it too so that's just like a little bit of context of kind of like how i used to think or um you know a little bit about my past so anyways i'm sitting there in the car and i'm freaking crying and i'm just like i need to get my life together like i just feel like i have no passion like i'm not looking forward to anything like it and you know what you guys when you're getting in those states is very very scary like very scary because our minds are so powerful that they like convince us that our life is freaking horrible like our life is bad like it, it's crazy because it's like our mind does it to ourselves and this is like why i believe that having a strong mindset could get you to where you want to be at because it's all in your like the real success is in your mindset i always say that so i'm sitting there and i'm like crying and i'm just like you know i need to figure out like what the fuck i'm gonna do like i'm not happy where i'm at and you know i just lost my job and honestly me daba tanto coraje because the reason why i lost my job was because of a fucking man like a guy and again this is a long ass story you guys with me losing my job and stuff like that but i'm just like you know it was definitely my choice because i was like i don't want to be in this position and it just didn't make me happy so i decided to leave but it did suck me daba tanto coraje that because of this one person like i lost all the money that i was making like i lost all of my motivation and stuff like that so i was i was angry like i was pissed off so I was sitting in my car and I'm like, okay, Daisy. And I always have this habit of talking to myself in like the third person. Is it the third person or the first? <laughs> Ni me acuerdo. Um, but I always talk to myself as if like I'm talking to a friend or to like, you know, somebody that I care about. And I was like, okay, what do you want to do with your life? Just say it out loud. Like, what is it that you want? And, you know, just say it. So I remember thinking, I'm like, I want to build a brand like off of who I am, like, my mindset just empowering other women and i said it just like that to myself as i'm fucking crying you guys talking to myself in the car i probably look like such a crazy person but i was like that's what i want to do like i want to empower other people i want to well especially i want to empower other women and i want to build a brand off of who i am because i feel like deep down inside i'm a businesswoman i am someone who you know builds people up i'm someone who supports people i'm someone who motivates other people and it's crazy because at that moment, like, I could never, I could always see the potential in other people, but I could never see it in myself. And it would honestly make me oh so upset because I remember I used to tell my husband and I'm like, why is it that, like, you know, when I envision someone else's life, like, I can envision everything that they could be doing or should be doing. But then when I envision it for myself, it's like, I always feel like I'm never enough, like, I'm not good enough, right? So I feel like that day in my car, I had the realization and I was like, what is another thing that i love right and i'm like coffee everyone knows me for coffee because i had to have a cup of coffee every single day like it, to me like the coffee brought back memories like with my mom and stuff like that when she used to go to like my tia's house or her cousin's house and they used to just drink coffee cheese miari que sabe que tanto right so i feel like i don't know why it's just instilled in me to drink coffee every single day so as me conocían, like they just knew that oh if we're hanging out with daisy or like even if i were to go visit my family in california like they knew they had to have coffee for me like every single morning so i was like okay i love coffee so that's when i started creating content off of you know sharing my coffee recipes on tiktok and stuff like that and then i was like you know what like i'm gonna change my name to cafecito con daisy and it just like sparked something in me when i was in the car i'm like i freaking i'm gonna build a brand off of my love for coffee and empowering other women and building fucking businesses and that's that so that's when i kind of started building cafecito con daisy to where it's at now we're almost at i think 85k followers on tiktok and we're almost at 5,000 k followers on instagram you guys and now we're like creating a podcast we're you know supporting other women where people are sending us stuff brands are reaching out to me which is fucking crazy because just thinking about it i'm just like 
my 15 year old self would literally be so proud of myself so my goal with this you guys in building this community building this podcast is to kind of show you guys that sometimes you have to hit literally rock bottom to be able to fucking realize your potential who you are gain your confidence and start becoming that girl that you want to become because i guarantee it's all up to you and sometimes i feel like the things that i'm saying i'm like it sounds like a broken record, right? Because you listen to other people or como se dice un disco rayado. <laughs> That's literally what I sound like. Because if you listen to like other motivational YouTube videos or people on TikTok, todos dicen lo mismo. Like they're all saying the same thing. But like if you really think about it, they're saying this stuff because they have also gone through the lowest point in their life. And now they're at a very good fucking point where they feel very happy with themselves. They feel successful, you know? So it's like there's a reason why people say the same things if that makes sense because obviously something's working there's some truth in it so that's literally my vision with my hot latina girl habits is you know to start breaking that generational trauma to uplift each other to uplift women to be able to become the baddest version of ourselves because i know that we could do it because i've done it you guys i have literally i'm telling you i have never had this much confidence until i started to intentionally work on my mindset and just again be more intentional get out of that fucking victim mentality like there's people that have gone through worse worse things than we have and that's not to devalue our own traumas and the own things that everyone has gone through because it's not a race it's not who has gone through the worst and who hasn't it's just more like everyone goes through things everyone has you know things that they should be depressed about that they should be feeling upset about you know and it's just up to you. It's up to you to choose to either let that consume you or just let that build you, you know? So, <clears throat> oh my God, you guys, I literally said, I have to take a deep breath, you guys, because this is going to take a lot of energy from me. Oh, hold on, you guys. I need a little break. Not going to lie. <laughs> okay, sorry. I just needed to like <laughs> collect myself because Oh my god, there's just so many things I want to share with you guys on this podcast. We're going to make it fun. We're going to chismear también, eh? Because we're girls, we're Mexican, and we know that we fucking love the chisme. And if you say that you don't like the chisme, bitch, you're lying. <laughs> so si te haces la que no le gusta el chisme, no te hagas el rogar, okay? Because I know if I told you guys that I had some really popping ass chisme, you guys would be the first ones up here. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing, you guys. We're going to be chismeando, becoming the baddest versions of ourselves, just breaking generational traumas and yeah becoming the best version of ourselves i have some good topics so i'm going to give you guys a few little sneak peeks of topics that are going to be coming up on the next episodes um i asked you guys on instagram if you guys ever want to reach out to me and just ask me any questions or just suggest any topics that you guys would like for me to talk about here on my podcast or even here on youtube <gasps> not my phone um then go ahead and just send them to me on Instagram at Cafecito con Daisy G. But so anyways, when I asked you guys, I got a lot of good responses that I was like, oh my God, I didn't even think of topics like this. Like for example, like the machismo culture, girl, girl, I can, bitch, I can literally talk about the machismo culture forever because girl, do I have fucking stories for you guys about this? And me and my husband have been together since like we were super, super, super young, you know, so he's literally like i've been with him forever and if he were like that machismo type of person girl me and him would not be together we would not be together but it's just through like environmental experiences with like friends and family and like you know especially if you're mexican and you go to mexico every single year like you see all that machismo culture and got me all the way messed up if you think i will ever ever deal with that thank god i have an amazing husband though because girl <laughs> Anyway, so that's going to probably be next week's episode because I'm so excited to talk about that with you guys. And another topic that I got is just building healthy habits, you know, how to start a business and things like that. So we're going to get all into all of that, you guys, and more. And the chisme. So anyways, that is all I have for you guys for today's introduction episode slash... I don't know if to call this episode one because... It's really not a full episode. Um, it's just more to introduce what Hot Latina Girl Habits, the podcast, is going to be about. Anyways, thank you guys for all of your support, for mentioning me in your videos, for sending me messages, sending me DMs, for everything you guys. I truly appreciate because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't even feel, you know, the drive to be able to want to do this. So 
we are gonna be coming hot latina girls together so i will see you guys on the next episode and thank you guys for listening if you're going to work have a good day at work bitch but i will see you guys or listen to you guys i'll see you guys on youtube um but i will talk to you guys on next week's episode and thank you guys for listening to the podcast right now that you guys are listening to this i'm actually <gasps> okay also recording for youtube so the you guys okay so we just finished the podcast and i'm gonna go ahead and say bye to you guys here on youtube i hope you guys really really enjoyed this podcast and i'm so excited to just share more knowledge with you guys and just share more stories and yeah more about me so i'm so excited and i'll see you guys on the next video bye